Hi, and welcome to today's Pregnancy Safe Bodyweight Workout. We'll be taking plenty of breaks throughout, but please take it at a pace that's suitable for you and your fitness levels. So let's start by warming up with diaphragmatic breathing and pelvic floor activation. Sitting on our knees, an exercise ball or chair if that's more comfortable for you. Take a deep breath in through the nose, expand the lungs, expand the belly, exhale through the mouth, lifting up through the pelvic floor and think of hugging your belly in towards you. If you place your hands on your belly, you should feel them separate slightly as you take your deep inhale in as the belly expands and coming back together as you exhale and hug through those deep transverse abdominal muscles. Let's do one more here. Amazing. We're going to continue with our core activation and stabilization as we come onto all fours for our bird dog. Knees should be under your hips and hands directly under shoulders. We're aiming to keep neutral through the spine without shifting through our hips or pelvis here. Think of keeping a cup of tea balanced on your lower back without spilling. From our all fours position, we extend opposite arm and leg towards the edge of the room with the focus being extension through the tip of the fingers and toes each time. We're not focused on the height that we're lifting the arm and leg to, but how far we can extend. Deep breath in as we prepare, exhale as we extend opposite arm and leg, lifting through the abdominals and engaging the transverse abdominals. Very nice. And coming into our final warm up exercise, our wrist and hip mobility. Staying on all fours, we're going to move in circles in an anti clockwise direction to start. Let's do four reps here and then we'll switch directions. The key here is to get some movement through the wrists and pelvis so the joints are primed for the upcoming exercises. Really nice work here. So we're ready for our main workout. So to start, we're gonna kick off with a body weight squat. Feet should be at least hip distance apart, but you may need to bring them a little wider to accommodate your bump size, depending on how far along you are in your pregnancy. Come down as if you are sitting into a chair and then standing back up into a full standing position. We want to inhale on our way down, exhale on the way back up to the top. Keep this movement nice and fluid and at a pace that feels good for your body. Really nice work. We're gonna take a brief 30 second rest break here to recover deep breaths in through your nose and allow the heart rate to steady again. Before coming into our next exercise, tricep dips, make sure you have a box, bench or chair to hand. Feet can be placed hip width or slightly wider apart. Hands will be on either side of your thighs, on your box or chair. Drop your bottom off the side of the box, bend through the elbows to lower the body and push through the hands to extend the arms and flex through the triceps at the top. Make sure we're taking a nice inhale on the way down, exhale on our way back up to the top here. Nice steady pace and a big squeeze of those triceps at the top. Really good work. Let's take another brief break here to recover the heart rate and grab some water if you need it. It's important to take more regular breaks when you're pregnant so you keep a good supply of oxygen coming into the body. Okay, our next exercise coming up is split squats. So let's have left foot forward first, up on the toes of your right foot, 
and we will bend that front knee to come low into a lunge position before pushing back to the top with a squeeze of the glutes at the very top of the motion. Think about keeping nice and balanced with that front foot connected to the floor in all aspects. Really nice work here. We're gonna switch legs now, but take a little time to recover your breathing before starting on the opposite side. We will again inhale on the way down to the floor and exhale as we push back up to the top. When you're ready, here we go. If this feels challenging, then please feel free to grab a chair or put a hand onto the wall to help you balance. Really nice pace. Great work. Take a break here and if you haven't already done so, get some water as we want to stay nice and hydrated throughout this workout. We have two more exercises to go and up next is our body weight good morning. <clears throat> Feet are going to be positioned wider than hip distance apart. Hands are going to come up onto our head. With a deep inhale in, we'll hinge at the hips, pushing our bum back towards the back wall, keeping straight through the legs with a slightly soft knee, so we feel a deep stretch and extension through the hamstrings. Exhale on the way back up to the top. Chest should come down to be parallel to the floor if your range of motion allows. Spine should remain neutral. Very nice work. Rest break here to recover our breathing once again before coming into our final exercise, elevated push-up. You can be elevated here on a box, chair or against the wall if necessary. The elevation will help alleviate too much pressure through your midline and pelvic floor, so allowing you to work at a more suitable effort level for your pregnancy. Placing your hands just wider than shoulder distance apart, bum squeezing throughout, pelvic floor and core active. We lower the chest down in between our hands, bending at the elbows before exhaling, pushing through the hands to extend arms back to our start position. Keep that chest coming down low in between the hands. The more we can engage the core, the better this will feel. Amazing, well done. Round one is all done. And let's just take a really quick break before we come back onto our feet and start round two. All right, we're ready to go again here with our body weight squats. Remember your feet are hip distance apart or slightly wider based on your bump accommodation. Stick to a pace that feels suitable for you. Inhale on your way down and exhale on your way back up to the top. We're gonna take a 30 second rest break here to let your heart rate recover before we prepare to come into our tricep dips. So we're going to grab our box, bench or chair and drop our bum off the side as we come to do our tricep dips. We will bend through the elbows to lower ourselves towards the floor and push through the hands as we exhale and come back to full extension with a big flex at the top of that rep. Really nice work here. 
Remember to keep a steady pace that's suitable for your level of fitness. Amazing. Let's take a rest break here. Grab some water to keep hydrated. Deep belly breaths to help the heart rate recover slightly. We're gonna come into our split squats once again with left leg forward up on the toes of the right foot, bending that front leg to bring you down towards the floor and extend back to the top with a big squeeze of your quads and your glutes. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way back up to the top. Very nice. Coming on to the other side after we've recovered our breath. Deep belly breaths here. Right leg stays forward, up on the toes of the left. Again, if this is too challenging for you, feel free to use a chair or the wall to assist you with your balance particularly as you get further along in your pregnancy and balance becomes more of an issue. Two more here. Very nice. Take a rest to recover your heart rate and breathing here and grab some water to make sure you're hydrated. We're coming into the home stretch, so the last two exercises to go before we cool down. Next up is our body weight good morning. So we stand with our feet slightly wider than hip distance apart, hands on head, ready to hinge our hips back towards the back of the room so we feel the extension through our hamstrings before exhaling and coming all the way back up to the top starting position. Try to bring that chest parallel with the floor, neutral spine throughout. Last two here. Very nice. Let's take our final rest break for this round and then come down onto the floor or onto your chair for elevated push-ups. Hands are going to be wider than shoulder distance apart, nice and controlled movement as we lower our chest down in between those hands. So bend through the elbows, bum squeezing, abdominals active. And you've made it. Well done. Ready to come into our cool down to return our heart rate to steady and help our muscles cool. So first up on our knees or sitting on a chair, we'll do a tricep stretch extension. Straighten your left arm up to the sky, bend at the elbow and place right hand on that left elbow to feel a stretch through the back of the left arm. Hold here for 20 seconds with deep breaths before switching sides. Switching to the opposite side, right arm goes up into the sky. 
left hand assists by holding the, the right elbow stretched through that right arm. Okay, and coming down onto the floor, we're going to do a gentle stretch for our hamstrings. So straighten through the left leg, bend the right leg to the foot, comes into the inner thigh of your left leg. Breathe deeply here, let the body calm and the muscles cool gradually. Hold here for 20 seconds and then switch inside. Right leg extends. Left foot is tucked into the right thigh. Make sure you take a few deep breaths. Keep the toes of that extended leg up to the ceiling so the foot remains flexed. And coming into our final cool down stretch, sitting either cross-legged or on a chair if that's more comfortable for you, accept your right arm and rotate over your left leg. This should not be a heavy or intense twist rotation, but a gentle rotation to let the muscles lengthen. Deep breaths here. And switch sides, extending the left arm and a gentle rotation to place the hand onto the right knee. Deep breaths here again. And you are done. Thanks for being here again today. Well done for your hard work. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.